The year is 2015. I'm sending this message back in time in the hopes that my former self in 2010 will see this and stop writing. But let me catch you up in the last few years. In 2011, wildfire hit bookshelves, taking the world by storm, becoming an instant international sensation and making me, you, the most famous author of all time. Then, in 2012, Justin Bieber agreed to star in the film adaptation of Wildfire, the musical. Soon after, millions of ten-year-old girls stormed the local mall where the movie was first playing, triggering the apocalypse. By 2013, all the copies of Wildfire had transformed into robots which soon took over the world. By 2014, the robots had enslaved humanity, and by the end of 2014, they had destroyed the world's pancake supply. But in 2015, a brave band of resistance fighters, known only as the YA Rebels, banded together to destroy the evil book robots, the same evil book robots that we'd once written to captivate audiences. And now I'm hiding underneath a blanket. Former self, if you can see this, stop that book from coming out where it will trigger the apocalypse. And also, don't eat so many donuts because it's really tough to run from murderous robots when you're squishy in the middle. To anyone else that sees this, it can only mean one thing. You are the resistance. It's 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. That's weird. I just got an email to me from myself in five years with the subject line, Help, robots have taken over the future. P.S. Stop eating donuts. Delete. So I'm really excited to be the new Sunday on YA Rebels, um, and this week is Where Are We Now? What I've been doing for the past uh, few weeks is just working on revisions uh, for my brilliant editor, Courtney, at Simon & Schuster, um, and I turned those in two days ago on, uh, on Wildfire. So while I wait to see what else we have to work on with the manuscript, I'm uh, back at work on Wildfire sequel, which I'm just going to temporarily call the sequel. Basically, working on the sequel involves doing some good old-fashioned writing, um, color coding uh, Excel spreadsheets that have my outline in them. It's very important to uh, color code to pass the time. Uh, and it also involves a little bit of research. Um, and people will keep asking me, Karsten, what do you do for research on Wildfire? It seems like there's a lot of mythology involved. Um, and it's a lot of research uh, to get in the volcano mindset for Wildfire, I watched the film Dante's Peak 25 times in a row. Um, even talked to Pierce Brosnan about what it was like to be that close to a volcano. And uh, I built one of those middle school science fair volcanoes that where you put the baking soda in and it goes And that was pretty much it. That was um, That's all the research that I did. I also like to make uh, color-coded thermometers uh, to track the progress on my work in progress, so I'm going to let you take a look at that. Check this out. Woo! Scrolling in, scrolling out, scrolling in, scrolling out, scrolling in. So that's pretty much it. I'm a boring-ass dude. Um, I wake up in the morning, I eat, I write, I wear stupid hats, I throw rocks at squirrels. I do exercises on this balance ball and eventually fall off onto my floor. Um, I go to bed and I just wake up and repeat the process the next day. It's just like that Bill Murray movie where he's a reporter and it's Groundhog Day and he wakes up and every day is the exact same day on Groundhog Day. I think it was called Ghostbusters. Or was it Operation Dumbo Drop? You may think my life is boring, but hey, it's not like it's the end of the world. If you're watching this, there are a couple things you should know about the future. The air smells like tapioca pudding all the time. Crocs are the most popular form of shoe wear. And worst of all, the Jersey Shore is in its 12th season.